welcome to a new video. This is John Skippy Limkul. I am on, uh, I guess you call it a workation, where you're working from a different location. So here's where I am in Santa Barbara, uh, seeing family and stuff like that. Uh, but Unify 1.1.10 is coming out, and I want to do a video showing you the features of Unify 1.1.10. Uh, most of it is maintenance, but there's a few cool things that we stuck in here that I want to show you. Uh, this patch that I was playing uh, is a free patch. There's a link to download it in the description of this video. Also, one of the features in Unify 1.1.10 is program changes. But what's cool with it is that no matter how many patches Unify is looking at, you can have a set of program changes from your keyboard controller that will change to any patch in any library. Super cool. The other thing that's really cool in Unify 1.1.10 is the fact that we have fades and uh, all sorts of cool things with the key zones now because we're working on a library and we need to have the ability to, let's see if I hold on these two keys, to do this, to change the range of the sounds so that we can actually do this. And even more than this, are you ready for a really cool ooh and ah? You can actually change the curvature which is super cool for both of these. So you can really slot the velocity range. It, you, it works off velocity. It can't work off audio because if you were at a soft volume here on a French horn and then you play here and it cranks the volume of your mixer to full volume for that, that, that would sound horrible. So if, you're, if your keyboards in this key zone don't respond to velocity, then you won't notice this particular feature. But we'll get to that in a minute. The other thing that's cool in this is we have drag to change the order of everything. So if I want to put the bass parts together, like there's that bass part, and there's this bass part, and then I go, oh, I want the drums before that, so there's a kick that would go up here. I can change the order by simply clicking and dragging now for the elements. So I can just click and drag, click and drag. And by doing this, even if you have macro knobs assigned and stuff, it's intelligently mapping things to the appropriate locations that it doesn't break those knob assignments to macro controls uh, when you change the, the order of the knobs, which is really cool. Okay, so let me show you, let's, let's revert this. So I showed you the drag and drop for the patches. That's one of the cool things in this update is to be able to go like this to change the order. The other thing was uh, the key zones, the phase that I showed you. So if we come up here, let's get our bass drum up here. Um, actually, let me show you with a different library. So, for example, for, to show on the fades, this is the BBC Discover library that we're working on. And we have found that certain ranges of the samples, the, the, the string section, for example, this is the... So, when we get to this part here... We have this range right here so that it fades nicely into this range. So we can make them far smoother than if it was just the abrupt, this is where the range stops and so forth. We found uh, with like certain strings like the viola, their lower samples aren't that pretty. So you can fade that range so that the cellos come in and support so it sounds nicer where the switch between um, the cellos and the violas are. So things like that are possible. The way to do this, it, it's a little tricky. If you have a two button mouse, you can use the right mouse button which is the same as holding down control and clicking. And control and click will let you change this parameter right here, the high and the low note range from the bar. You don't actually have to go to that box anymore and change it. You can just go control, click, change the high note, change the low note. If you control click in the middle, you can now change the whole bar just by moving it. And then it gets tricky. Hold down control and option on the PC, that would be alt. And when you click down here, you're now able to change the fade, as you can see, for the high and the low. And then if you hold down uh, Control and Shift, and then click and drag up and down, you're changing the curvature of the fade so that you can have one sound like this that fades like that. Let's hold down Control and say we want to click in the middle and move this up here. And we want to use... Control Option to give ourselves a fade, and then we would use Control and Shift 
to make this like this. So this way, this is going to come in and hold down control, click in the middle and move it a little bit. And as you see, it retains the fade and the curvatures even when doing this, which is really cool. So you can customize the fading from one sound to the next when you're trying to make it really smooth, really nice. Um, I don't think I've seen anything else that goes to this level of control for curvature fades between one key range and another. But again, it's by velocity. So if you have a synthesizer that has no velocity sensitivity, you won't notice this cool feature I'm showing you. Okay. So that is the controls. There's control by itself to change the high, change the low, and click in the middle to move the whole thing. Okay. Control option for changing the actual, and you'll see there's a note that pops up that says that's the bottom note where the fade begins. So you can use that to see where the fade is going to begin and then it's going to fade down to this point, which is D sharp two. Uh, this is that A sharp three is where it's starting. So you have the ability to see all that. Um, and then control and shift and drag up and down to change the curvature between positive and negative curves like that, okay? So that's one thing, the drag and drop of the orders we showed earlier, and then program change. Okay, so inside of your Unify folder, there is now going to be, if, if you do this, you, you download the zip file, Unzip that. This is how this would be set up. You would go to your uh, Plugin Guru Unify folder, which is where you'll find libraries and presets. And that's where you will put this file that you're downloading if you do this. That's called MIDI Bank Files. Unzip the zip that you download and put the MIDI Bank Files folder into here right next to libraries and presets. Okay. Double click this. And I have a 1.1. That's for the bank and the there's, there's an LSB and an MSB for changing program changes for the bank and then what bank in that bank. So you can do multiple banks of 127 banks. It's pretty elaborate. If you make one 2.2, .2, then it's MIDI bank change 2, 2, so forth. Um, I'm just providing one for the basic set. So inside of this folder, these are, these are there just in case you want to use them. You don't have to use them. Let me double click this and I need to make it bigger just so we can read it. The basic rules are you have a list. I made up to 32. You can go all the way to 127 for program changes. If it's just the name like this, it will find it. If it goes to different folders, then you need to put the name of the library and then the name of the patch with a slash and a space between them. I put the library names right here so you don't have to go searching for them for both Cloud City and for Melodic Techno. Those are the two libraries we've released. Uh, if you do an Omnisphere library or something like that, then you would go over here, let's do this. Also, let me show you how this works. So I have these program changes for one through six, and I have a chord cross set up right here. So if I go here to program change one, and then I go to the next program change. It can be simple things, or it can actually be complex. Um, it can even be... This is in Cloud City. Totally different library. Let's say we want to have it load something from uh, Melodic Techno for program change 006 for my keyboard controller, right? So I would go over here to, let's go to the Melodic Techno. And let's say I want to load a BPM split thing. So we'll do this really cool. Let's say we want to load triangular beat. So all you have to do is go copy this name, Command C. Go back to the text file and for seven, so we're gonna say space this and then the name is Airwave Melodic Techno, so copy this. And before that, you paste space slash space, okay? And save. And now when I'm over here in Unify and I change between four, five, which is uh, Cloud City, and then six, Take it a second. There. So you can program change between any patch in all of your patches by doing it this way. We were trying to think of a way when, when you have, uh, in fact, one of the things we had to fix with this update is we had a cap at a thousand patches. <laughs> 
and we're well over a thousand patches already. So now it's a hundred thousand patches before it starts to become like Unify got a little bit confused with stuff. So we've upped the numbers. So that's pretty funny. Uh, so those are the main update features. There's one other one I want to show you that's pretty cool. And let's say Beast Drum Kit. If you open Guru Sampler, you have now a reverse. So it'll reverse all the samples in a mass. So the drum kits, everything is now reversed. So you can duplicate this guy and then use Jitterbox if you want to delay this one to be later than the other one. So the reverse is now, actually, you'd want to, yeah, you'd want to reverse. <laughs> and then get this one to be forward. So you can now play with reverse samples really easily. That's another thing we added in this update. Uh, again, you've got drag and drop to change the order of patches. You've got control. And you can now just click up here in the bars. You don't even have to go down to the boxes to change. You can click in the middle. You can change the order. Control plus option or control plus alt on the PC. And you're changing the fade range. And it says the note right there. And then control and shift and click in the lower or the upper half. And you're changing the curvature, which is really cool. So enjoy these. And thank you for your support. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.